Hey, what is up you guys? It is 9.30 p.m. and I am filming a video. Welcome to my bedroom floor, y'all with the empty bottom shelves. I just had an urge to film a Dust and Disgust because I want to vent, rant, complain, overreact in some parts, and be dramatic in others about this recent Nendroid that opened up for pre-orders. And it is the Nana Nendroid. I am very upset. Now, let me preface this by saying I'm going to be dramatic. I am going to over exaggerate and maybe overreact in some parts, but that is just to entertain <laughs> you guys in this video. But the main point of the video remains true. I am upset about it. And this opens up kind of like a bigger discussion about figure companies just taking advantage of us. But I, I feel like that should be a separate video, but it kind of ties into this, right? Okay, so without further ado, I'm going to dust some figures, so if you want to dust along with me, you can. And let's get started. Recently, pre-orders for the Nanan Android opened up. And, you know, at first glance, the Nandroid looks good. Just like the painting and like, you know, just, just the Nandroid itself, the sculpt and everything, right? Now, when you look a little closer, you'll notice that Good Smile, to no surprise, got some details wrong. Detail number one, they fucked up the color of her eyeshadow. The color of her eyeshadow in the prototype, pink, light red, the color it's supposed to be, purple. What the hell, good smile. I literally Google imaged Nana from Nana. All the screen caps, all the official arts, purple eyeshadow. Not one photo had her with that goddamn pink eyeshadow. I want to chalk it up to them mixing up which nana they're painting and they thought they were painting hachi i why where did the pink where did the pink idea come from y'all where are we getting at these ideas were you just like painting you're like oh this looks better i don't this is not canon she does not canonically wear pink eyeshadow i mean she looks good in it don't get me wrong but this is not my girl's color don't mess with my girl's color you know second thing they miss her nails are not painted what's up with that good smile and they can't tell us that it's too hard to paint the nails because of their small fingers because I'm pretty sure there are other nendroids out there and I, I'm pretty sure I own one of them, at least one of them, where they have their nails painted. And then later on I'm going to read comments from the My Figure Collection site just to see other people's opinions on these or stuff that they pointed out that's probably missing or whatever. I don't know. With with the amount of details that they missed, I'm surprised they even added her damn tattoo on her arm. I am so tired. Y'all can see my bags. Okay, so now let's move on to the biggest slap in the face. It's the lackluster, dull, mid, boring face plates. What the hell are these face plates? One of them is a default grinning face. Okay, that's fine. We always have a grinning face or like a smiling face as a default usually. The other is her smiling and just winking. Boring. And then the last one is her. It's supposed to be her looking sad. And it is the most dull, neutral looking face I have ever seen. I mean, she does not look sad at all she looks like she's just staring like she has no thoughts in her head i mean here's the photo y'all y'all tell me what you think i mean i don't know maybe you don't think it's that bad but i think i mean nana is not a neutral person she like when she's sad she shows it on her face like they gave her no expression no emotion like i cannot feel i want to be able to feel the sadness nana is feeling through this figure and i feel nothing <laughs> Not to mention, I cannot see how this Nendroid is supposed to interact with Hachi, which they haven't mentioned a Hachi Nendroid, but I am almost 100% sure that they are going to because that's usually how it goes. I'm also very surprised that they didn't just announce them together, but whatever. Anyways, I cannot imagine how she would look interacting with Hachi like there's nothing here I can see where she's in where she could be interacting with Hachi I think the amount of accessories are okay like she has a guitar she has the strawberry glass she has a cigarette 
she has a microphone which she can hold with the mic pole or like just the like speaker part separately so i, I guess that's fine I, I mean but again i don't know how she's supposed to interact with hachi it's almost like and <laughs> i say almost but it pretty much is but i'll say it's almost it's almost like and this can be again a bigger discussion in a separate video but it's almost like they knew people would go crazy over a nana figure so they think they can just give us a nana figure without even trying to make it good because they know we're going to buy it either way because we are just so desperate for anything nana to come out at this point and you know they're right <laughs> because am i super pissed about this nendroid yeah did i pre-order the nendroid i did i did pre-order the nendroid and here i am complaining about it but i'm weak okay wake up sheeple we need to and i hate myself for it but i don't want to pay aftermarket prices for them and i do love the series so much and i am desperate for like any nana's item like anything out there right and you know the biggest slap in the face to all of this on top of giving us a shitty expressionless nana they're charging 41 dollars on ami 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 is supposed to be a discount figure shop it's supposed to have it's supposed to sell figures for cheaper so I can't imagine how much it is on Good Smile's site. I haven't even looked, but I, I honestly, at this point, I don't care. Because $41 on Ami Ami is insane for not just a Nendroid, but also this lackluster of a Nendroid. What the hell? I need a dust because I'm like doing too many hand movements and none of them are hand movements like this. Okay. <laughs> but like, what the hell? $41 for what? For what? Tell me what? What am I, where's $41 coming from? It's not adding up. I'm doing the calculations, it's not adding up. The math is not mathing, okay? What the hell, Good Smile? What is going on? You know what they could have done? They could have at least included a Good Smile bonus or something, or not even like a bonus, just like have it for everybody. But I'm pretty sure with their greedy asses, they'll make it a bonus. They could have added those little plastic panels, which to be fair, I never use because I, I feel like it's useless and takes up unnecessary space on my shelves. But I'm pretty sure some people use them, but included those like plastic background panels that they do sometimes as like bonuses. And it could have been like the window or the background to the apartment that her and Hachi sit at. And they can like include benches and have Nana sit in it and then have a bench for Hachi too. And, and they can sit, they can sit together and have like a little table, you know, there you go. I just they interacted. I remember seeing somebody comment that they wish they gave them a faceplate where Nana has the like cat expression and I think Hachi would have had the dog expression. It would have been nice. I mean, what the hell is this y'all? Who at Good Smile is making these decisions? Because did license, how did licensing accept this? When that's not her damn eyeshadow color. What a damn shame. They did my girl so dirty. And for $41 on Ami Ami, Ami Ami. Remember when I say $41, it's on the figure sale website. What a damn shame. All right, so let's get to reading some of these My Figure Collection comments, shall we? Okay, somebody says, why does her face look especially chunky even for a Nendroid? It looks like she's sporting a double chin. I personally don't see it, but at this point, I'll agree with you just because I'm so mad about this. Oh, somebody replied to that and said, I think uh, Yazawa's art style doesn't translate super well as a Nendroid. Her characters have skinny faces and bodies, which is the opposite of to the Nendroid chibi chunkiness. I technically, I pretty, I, I think it translated well for a Nendroid. I, you know, especially, I think the biggest noticeable thing in Yazawa's art style is, yes, they're like super skinny characters, but I think what makes them recognizable in the Nendroid are the eyes and like the eyelashes. So I, I, I think it's fine for an Android. I think it translated fine. Somebody said, finally, and for accessories, I'm surprised they didn't make the strawberry glass a good smile bonus. Yeah, I'm surprised about that too. Also in the prototype photo in one of them, she's holding the strawberry glass and she's looking at it and she's sad. 
I feel like they could have included a broken strawberry glass. Now that, that would have been good. But also like include like the, the intact one too, because we don't want to get too depressing here. <laughs> Somebody said, I think the amount of accessories are great, but I feel like her face is kind of off. If you look closely, her eyeshadow is red. It's actually purple in the original. Thank you. And her nails are not painted at all. Thank you. Actually, she has red painted nails, but Good Smile Company probably forgot or something. They don't care. <laughs> that, that's what it is. They don't care. They didn't forget. Her stocking should be fishnet-like. I feel like they didn't give much effort on this one. Oh yeah, that's another thing. Wait a damn minute. God damn it. They are supposed to be fishnets. Unacceptable. Oh, somebody replied to that comment and said, you're so right, her skirt and corset were purple too. Oh, really? I actually don't know what outfit this is referencing, to be honest, but I'll take your word for it because they screwed everything else up. I'm not surprised that they screwed that up too. I wish she had an annoyed faceplate mischie or mischievous faceplate or some kind of cat ears accessory. Exactly. So much potential gone and waste, but I'm still glad she got what she did. Could have been worse. Could it have been? <laughs> Could it really have been? I guess so. Somebody said she's cute, but I really wish they would have added a cat and dog faceplate ear or ear set. It would have been so cute. Hachi, please come out soon. Yes, so everybody seems to be mentioning the cat and I think that's the comment that I saw. But yeah, it looks like more than one person, a couple of people actually were mentioning the cat and dog faceplate or accessories. I totally agree. I like so many missed opportunities with the, this Nendroid. I, I also don't even think they missed the opportunity. I just full out think they rejected it. Somebody said, I bought it because it is pretty after all. I love the character and we have very little merchandising of her, which brings back my point of Nana fans are just so desperate for some kind of merch of this series that they'll take anything even the bare minimum and these companies are taking advantage of that or at least good smile is because i think the other like the scale figure the hobby max one i think it was really good despite the complaints some people have it was it was pretty good you know especially for like the first scale figure to come out it, it's a pretty good it's a pretty good one but they're, they're, yeah they're they're taking advantage of the fact that we'll just to eat anything up at this point and somebody else said this is adorable and i will be pre-ordering however there's always a but. As others have pointed out, why, in all caps, why isn't the eyeshadow purple? That's literally her iconic makeup. Thank you. I feel like, yes, music and relationships are such a big part of this series, but another very quiet and unmentioned, but like very much there topic, am I making sense? Anyways, of this series is also fashion the contrasting styles of hachi and nana the multiple <laughs> outfit changes for from both of them but especially like hachi too how many times do you actually see anime characters switch their outfits as much as those two did right they have and they have such unique styles too i mean fashion i feel like is such a big part of this series not just with nana and hachi they're just i'm just saying mentioning them because they're the two main characters and the nendroids are being made of them or at least nana in this case for now but i'm like i said i'm pretty sure hachi's coming up so it's like why would you not make that part of of the focus you know like why would you not prioritize that as much to add about the eyeshadow and some of the clothing choices i wonder if they'll bring out an android doll to capture this then they're just milking us <laughs> that would be so dumb there are nendroids that have gotten android dolls and they are just as accurate like what <laughs> wake up sheeple low-key wish the face plates were more expressive but i still love her I mean, there you have it. There you have it. What has this concluded? We are upset, but we are brainwashed and we are sheeple. One day we'll wake up. One day we'll take a stand. Today is not that day. Today, today they take our money. <laughs> oh, y'all, come on. I at least hope. Hachi is my favorite in that series. And I, I hope and pray 
that they don't do her dirty. And that's all I can do is hope and pray. So, um, thank you. I barely dust it, y'all. I don't, <laughs> I don't even know why I even bother. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Sorry, it was a little bit. I don't know if I was too quiet in this video, but it's literally 9.30 p.m. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was at least a bit entertaining. It was nice to vent about it. Let me know what you think. Even if you're not an Anna fan and you're not pre-ordering this figure, what do you think in general? I will see you in the next video, which is hopefully, hopefully soon. Bye-bye, guys.